Okay, hello guys, it's Blackout here, and today we are here for the APA Academy week number 6 battle. So we are facing up against Delta Glygas, coached by Platinum Howler, and they are scary opponent. They are 5 0, and they have a really solid draft, which is really scary. You see their team down below. Um, First and foremost, they have a ne Necrozma, which is always a scary thing to face against in Gen 8, because they have a Dragon Dance. They can be so many sets. They can be Supportive set, which can be annoying. Defensive set, they can be Iron Defense set or Call Mind set. They might, might be a Dragon Dance set. Or then they might just be um, like a Breaker with Twisted Spoon or something. But anyways, they are really scary. And they have an amazing ability on that ma man. And really solid uh, speed here actually in this generation. And they have a Viva and my mascot, so props for that. And that's also a scary man to face against because it's so fast and it hits like a truck. Uh, Mimikyu can be scary, can be scary. And then there's that goddamn Koperasha, uh, which we already took an L from, um, except it was a dead Genax version. So that's that. And then Heliolisk is solid man with the mons that they have. They have Torko, they have Venusaur. Uh, so that's kind of like sun, sun mode. And then they... Uh, G-Max is the Santa Gonda, which... Isn't that scary? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm maybe a little underprepped actually for it. Now that I think about it. A little bit maybe. No, not really. Yeah, not really. But yeah. So first and foremost, we have our Obstagoon. Because Obstagoon is really solid this matchup because they have really nothing to switch against Facade. Yeah, Bulky Togeti can do something. But that's that. We have um, good switching to the Togeti. In our uh, Corvina, which we will be bringing this week. Um, and yeah, it's really simple set. Um, it's max attack Charlie with uh, enough speed to outspeed, I believe, Venus Shroud of Sun and Galade. So that's that. I think it's always outspeeding them, except if they, does, if they are Scarf. And if Galade comes, it might as well be Scarf. So yeah, we have Guts, Facade, Knockoff, and Close Combat because for Facade switches don't like Close Combat. Um, Necrozma doesn't like Facade at all, Koperasha doesn't like it, it can take one, <laughs> maybe two. Um, Torkoal can switch into this, but it that can't do that uh, many times in the match. So yeah, and then we have Obstruct which lowers the defense if they make contact so... So, 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 um, like Sandaconda might be something that makes contact with us and Gobera Sham is something that makes contact with us and Mimikyu is something that makes contact with us Mimikyu is one of the only ones that can switch into this pretty nicely um, until this guy is broken but it outspeeds me by one point so that might very well be coming um, coming this match but yeah the Willowis can actually be quite annoying for my Covenant now that I think about it but 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 anyways so yeah we hope to hit hit them back with knockoffs and stuff and then we go for our Sarah aura this time and we got got an annoying set again we are timid nature um 140 speed we are outspeeding in vile every single time i believe this also outspeeds plus one necrosma yeah and um, with not max speed i believe um, we have Hulk and a little bit of special attack on us. We have Aura Sphere, Volt Switch, Protect and Toxic. We have this Protect Toxic set again because I believe one of the best ways I can deal with Necrozma without giving them like knockoff weakness policy boost and they press like iron defense after that is go for Toxic because we do live earth powers and earthquakes from it one. And we can protect off afterwards and then we'll switch out of there if they are plus one or faster. So we do have really good choices to make 
against that. And then, of course, Wallswitch give, uh, gives us good initiative outside of that Sandaconda, but Sandaconda doesn't like that toxic either. Except if they come, they are probably set skin, so yeah, they do like toxic a little bit, but anyways. Anyways, we are we are timid nature, yeah. Let's go. Then we have our Banshee here again. Yes, we don't want them switching. We have we gotta get that residual damage. Ex especially on like Toko, Venusov. Then Miku is really good to get chipped down. So we can kill it with like for example, uh Frost Lasses um Shadow Ball. If they're not plus two with Shadow Sneak, they don't kill the Banshee. <clears throat> we have heavy duty boots because we really didn't need an item. Okay, Kebia Berry might be a good one. So we can leave plus two Shadow Sneak from uh, from the Mimikyu. That can be actually something that I might reconsider here. But the idea with Frostless is it has a good speed. Um, speed, speed. Speed stat against the opponent. Um... We have Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Protect, and Spice. If we get Toxic on something that wants to switch on this, for example, the the, the, the Toko, we can Spice and switch Protect afterwards. We are good to go at it. We are chipping that down with the Toxic damage. And this can actually um, reduce the damage from Sandacorn when they are G-maxed. Because what I've actually come to realize not realized, but like solidified my opinion. Like Protect is really good in Gen 8 draft league format, especially if there is the G Max drafting system and we draft the G Max because it's e much easier to uh, burn the G Max for uh, moves with that. For example, the last week battle like against Sequays and we burned all of Flapple's. Um, G Max turns on the Weezing with the Protect, so that was a nice. Even even though if the when they had the Iron Steel coverage, so yeah, we are Max Special Attack, Max Speed Timid. Yes, we don't need anything else. <coughs> Honestly, if we get one layer of spikes, which would stay on the field for the rest of the game, because they don't have a lot of removal. I believe Tokol is the most obvious one to come with Rapid Spin, maybe. But again. We get the toxic off on that, we can protect on it with this as well, so we can take uh, something out of it. And then, then we bring our Corviknight G-Max with the Pokeball, because we have to do that. And we have a kind of complicated spread, we have max HP, and then we have defense, we have Impish. This man is supposed to beat Dragon Dance Necrozma with Rock Blast for this thing, one on one. If it's Dragon Dash, we can wall it with our pull cap set. We have mirror armor here. But yeah. Pull, pull cap, Bruce, Iron Head, and Body Press. We do beat that thing with the pull cap set. Obviously, because we get plus one defense, plus one attack. They get speed, which doesn't matter against this one. Um, I just wanted something that doesn't lose to the Dragon Dance set. Of course, it might not be the best set they can bring because of our Corvi Knight. Um, but I thought that Rock Blast might be some cheesy way, or like some kind of way to break even Corvi Knight down um, with the plus one. Like, I think Necrozma can easily set up like plus three with the Corvi Knight, so, so that's that. We can switch this in if they are not special. And if I believe we are pretty free to switch this in, even when we, like, first time we see it, because I don't think they are uh, clicking. Heatwave first, because we do have other possible options to switch into it, which they mightn't like. So, like first time we can switch this in and see what the uh, moves gonna be. So that's nice. Mm, so that's that. Then we have our Velvet again here, Primarina with leftovers, this time not specs. And this is our... Uh, one of the switches into Torko. And this can take hit from Heliolisk if, they, if it's not um, electric type move. But we have Seraura as well for Heliolisk, so that's nice. We have Orosphere for exactly that reason to help that. But Primarina is here with almost max HP. We have some in special, um, special attack and some in speed. We have enough defense for something. I can't remember. What was it? I think it's for like Necro Necrozma. 
So that's that. Like physical necrosma hitting uh, the photon geyser. This ain't Primarina. We have Hyper Voice. We have Liquid Voice. Training Kiss, Ice Beam, and Call Might. Um, we are like. This setup can work against some months. If they bring Shamba, we can set up on that. And this can set up on Togo as well. Um, I believe we don't die to two solar beams. But yeah, and they don't want to take our hyper voice anyways. So they are most likely switching out to something like Copper Russia maybe. But yeah, this can um, do some work in the early game. This is not our win con in any means, but this is there to maybe pay that Venusaur. If we get plus one, um, do we get two shotted by plus? And let's get Venusaur, Mares Life Orb, and then this Primarina set. I don't think we die to Solar Beam. Oh, wait, no, Sludge Bomb. Like, if we are plus one, we might be able to take two of those. And with Training Kiss Heal, we do take two of those, and we hit them back with um, Ice Beam anyway. So, yeah, this can deal a lot of damage early game. And the, the point of it is to slow down that Sun Core, which I think is coming. So that's that we are called to take. It's a lot better. And then we have our last man, aka our Sentish Gods, Adonis. Again, heavy duty boost. We do have that same set as always because it's so easy to bring, I I think. And it's a solid set. And have I even clicked rest yet? Not sure. <laughs> but we have Fire Last, Knock Off, Rest and Sleep Top. This is there to help with the door call. And this leaves to. Um, I believe this leaves to. Large bombs from Venusaur, max special attack life up. So that's cool. We hit them back with fire last and rest up afterwards. But I hope that they don't poison us with sludge bomb though. But yeah, this also helps with Mimikyu. This also helps with Weavile. We have enough defense to leave hits from that as well. Of course, if they get Rex rocks up and we switch into knockoff, that kind of sucks. But but I hope that doesn't happen because we don't have removal. That can be annoying actually, now that I think about it. Anyways, let's hope that doesn't happen. And we are careful nature. At this point, I don't really go over a lot of the EVs. Um, you can see the stats, of course, there, but like player spots are pretty much going, and I need to win these matches. And if I do win these matches and get to playoffs, like most of these opponents that I'm facing from now on are most likely in playoffs, so that's that. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for me for now. We will see you guys soon in the battle. I'll connect up with my opponent, see you guys. And here we are for the battle. Whew. We are for the battle against the Platinum Howler and the Delta Gligas. Ugh, my guarantee. Yeah, it's really kicking in but yeah let's 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 see let's see okay so they brought heliolisk they brought uh the door call venusaur which i did indeed and the spread the necros trampa and mimikyu okay trampa and mimikyu I can see Torkoal being a very likely lead, or Heliolisk, either way. All two, both two of those are really solid ones. And I can also see Necrozma leading, but they do not have their ground type. So I'm pretty confident going with my Sarah Aura lead here. So yeah, I'll I'll do right that because if if they lead with Toko, we're gonna roll switch out of out of there, out of there. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's take out Terra Aura out, and let's see like Heliolisk, Heliolisk with those specs. And we actually do we do shot um the Heliolisk with the Orosphere. We do um. 
So if they are like choice scarf one, they do not do shadows ever. Except if they are modest, do they have a chance? Do they have a chance, really low chance. Oh, I actually don't think so because we have left those. So yeah, good luck and have fun, duty platinum howler. I know they are really good battle battler since they are 5 -0. They have gone really sorry season so far. I go with Annabelle, who is Mimikyu. Okay, this is really good because we can wall switch out of here. Right? I believe we want the wall switch out of here. Yeah, 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 let's well, let's wall switch out of here. Get that switch in uh, I can't even speak. So hard. So hard. So this week I'll actually try to have some other music than the regular battle music on. Um, yeah, post editing the magic of our time. So yeah. So we do get the vault switch off. I wonder what they are going for here. Okay. Let's go, let's go into our Corvinat here. Play rock, we tank, tank it. Oh, we actually avoid it. So what's they play against this? this they go into their talk hole, most likely. So I think I'll actually do a double here. into our velvet here they be true Franklin is the Torkolia velvet let's go <clears throat> So I think I'm pretty free to go for Calamite Because they most likely go into Venusaur No, back into this thing, okay so We are now plus one And plus one special defense I think we are going to... They are faster than us, so let's go for training this year. Good hammer, do we leave this? Yeah, we... Oh! We don't leave it. Okay. So are they choice bandit? I would imagine they are now choice banded. So let's go, go into this thing here. I think they are in the choice banded. So yeah, let's just knock off here. Where they go in the talk hall, I believe. Valoo. Oh, this thing. About nine. Oh, it's a rocky helmet, but okay. 
Oké, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think we are going into our Terra Aura here. Just real quick like. Let's have the Terra Aura in here. Ramba takes like 40 percent ish. Let's see Dragon Tail, okay. Oh we avoided. We are dodging! Toxic game. Let's hope they are not going into the vendor shop because that would suck. Actually, I didn't think about that play before I clicked the button. Yeah, let's get that toxic off. We should take any hit, even with modest one. Echo water roost. Roost dragon tail. Okay. How much sun should be still up? Let's see, let's see. Okay, so they are indeed the heat rock on the thing, on the... I think we wall switch. Let's go. What kind of item are they? Wall switch out of here. I don't think they are... I believe they are going for... Five boys here. So let's go into our. This may be too aggressive, but I still want to do it. Okay, Dragon Tail on this. That's fine. What do we get? Okay, this is really good. Really good. We get the burn. Max defensive. Like facade is most of the time killing. Let's click facade. Yeah, let's go. Um, We don't kill it. That's okay. They get a lot of chip on us, but that doesn't matter. Ovinath would be the best here. Okay, this is uh, one of... Actually, this is actually the best one. Um, because the sun runs out. So the... So Zerara gets the kill. Um, okay, that's cool. So we'll let's actually see here. And I... Again! Forget to take the picture of. God damn me. So, Sera Ora kills Duramba um, with toxic damage. And then the Mimikyu. Okay, this is the this thing. Mimikyu kills um, Timarina with Wood Hammer. Like we, I believe we take um the. Let's hit this, nice, nice. Let's see what kind of um thing this is because we do take earthquake and I believe earth power as well. Hold on, guys, so we do tank. Like depends. Do they are physical, one hundred percent, or their choice? Oh, okay. They might not be. Let's click protect here. Because the is pretty free. Pretty free because we do have I believe they have physical though. Even if it can be special. Oh 
So they switch out. Okay. Okay, so we are in Shadow Sneak range. This kinda sucks. So I think we still protect here. Because that failed. So we get some healing back. Mimikyu is choice banned. Shadow Sneak does like 32%, so that's 58 damage maximum if they're Charlie, if they are adamant. It's 64 damage max. But I believe they are choice banned um, from the wood hammer roll. Yeah, they are indeed choice banded. So I just want to horse swap because even if they are not adamant, they can kill us. So I'm I'm down. They have they have tricked themselves into. Let's go into our obstacle here. Do they trick it? No. They go into then um talk hole. Shani Kermit, that's Heliolisk, that's bad. Because focus blast kills us. But that play kinda means to me that they are choice carved. So I think going into our Banshee is our best play. Play a little bit aggressive here. But I do think they are going into their ch choice and they go either fighting move or maybe hyper voice. Wall switch, that's annoying. That does uh, over 60. I think that's not. Yeah, that's not choice backs. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I'm so sure. Actually, they are not max special attack either. But yeah. Mimikyu is kinda easy switch here. Rankling? Okay. So I think we are setting up spikes. Right? I am gladly setting up spikes here. Let's do that. Rocks can be annoying if they set up them, but if they set up rocks, we get two layers of spikes. Or we hit them with Shadow Ball. Take Lava Plume and we die. We die a horrible death. So... Circle kills Frost. As we clap a blue. So let's go into our this thing and kind of skate away um, with toxic, so they would go into the. Um, Venus saw here. Turkle. Turkle might as well stay in here though. Let's go into our... This thing. Body press. Cool. We have pretty free knockoff here. So let's do that. Yeah, I knew they would run this stone as but 
I kinda have to risk it anyways. I knew they carried that. Mm. Is this guy in orb obstacle range? All I want to know. Might be. I kind of have to hope. Yeah, let's go wolf facade. Be true if they go into Mimikyu, that's a good play. Okay, that, that's a good play. Oh boy, because they are max speed, Charlie. But I can obstruct here and see what they go for. If they trick us, that's fine. Let's obstruct, we can see what the move they go for. I do know that trick goes through this. Play rough. Yep. I think we read this and they are going to hard swap. And I'll go for... Knock off. I believe they are going to read my switch. I believe. Because I have to make plays here. Because we have gotten only one kill. But our Corviknight is looking pretty good at the moment. If we get can get up a good position with the body press and um, like bulk up and so if they if they don't read this we can go into our a uh, big bird Corviknight because they are choice cops Heliolisk and not just specs we can bulk up. Oh we are faster! Oh that's huge that's huge obstacle DLS. Um, Mimiki with knockoff. Okay. I actually didn't see if they have a choice band, but I do believe they are choice banded because they have trick. What do they have left? They have. Let me see. Oh, real quick, they have Toko in the pack, which is quite cheap. Venusaur in the pack. I think we can take one hit from Venusaur. And Necrozma in the back, which is toxic, which is nice. Shiny Kermit, the Heliolis comes in. And I feel like I do need to. I think we need to do this and hope for if they go for false switch. This is pretty much sacking our Seva Aura, which sucks. Okay, they go for the Hyper Voice. And I do think here they are choiced. So Heliolisk. Helio Lisk kills our Terra Aura with Hyper Voice. And I believe we have to go for Pulk up here. Because I want to bet that they are choice carved. They are not choice carved. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So Torkoal is free here. Um. It's pretty much Covid versus the world here. But I don't think we can leave um leave a hit. Leave a hit from anything pretty much at this point.
Um, but yeah, we'll have to go for this. At this point, at this point, we don't have a lot left. I think going to roost might be a good play there, but I don't know how special it, uh, uh, how much special attack they have. The lava plume is pretty much killing us here. If we don't kill this back, we don't kill it, and I think that's the game. Oh, that's a, even a crit. That's like max defense. Max defense. The lava plume comes and kills us. Damn. I think this is going to be a trio. Most likely. They use they sack this thing. Mimikyu isn't alive anymore. They sack this thing. Helios comes in and cleans up. I believe. I believe that's going to be the game. Case here. Go up to the goon, kill us. We take something out. That's that's pretty much that. Up to the goon, kill us. Dog hole with facade. Oh, just going up with lava bloom. Joyce Bandit Mimikyu pretty much put us into the back foot, and I knew that Dogol would have the Stone Edge. Oh, this thing. Okay. We still have to click facade. We might take this with us. No, Solapin, we are not taking this with us. This is going to kill us real hard. Yeah, 100% killing us. Bye! No! Okay, Minnesota kills us. And GG to Platinum. Um, really good job with that Choice Bandit MEQ. I believe it was Choice Bandit. I didn't see the item when I knocked off. But I do think it was the case. But yeah, this pretty much marks, I think, end of our run for playoffs. Um, really hard to um, run back from it. U4 position, I think. But yeah, um, thank you for playing him hard for a good game. Gave up headache <laughs> during prepping. God damn. <laughs> but yeah, um, we will see you guys next week. I think we are facing. I'll check it real quick um, for you guys. For you guys, um, we are facing. Ooh, we are um, facing Grandmaster D Ray. Grandmaster D Ray, who are really cool dude. So that's nice. And I, I will actually wait that match a lot. But yeah, thanks once more for Platinum Howler. Go check them out. They are found in the description, as are other coaches of the APA as well. But yeah, we will see you guys next week for some APA goodness. See ya.